your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. It's a storm that's impacting a huge part of the country. I've actually kind of scoped this into the Midwest for you right now, though, because I want you to see that these winter storm warnings extend all the way back to the west through Missouri. They extend into the Ohio Valley as well. So a lot of folks travel in and around this region. And if you're going to be traveling off to the north, let me tell you something. This is going to be an issue up there. There's blizzard warnings from just off to the east of the Chicago land area, South Bend into Michigan. This is a storm that is impacting a huge part of the country. And here at home, a winter storm warning, just like we said yesterday, we expected that shading to change and the warning to be issued. It happened last night, and we're under the warning now. So here's what's happening this morning on future casts. We've already started to see a little bit of drizzle or light rain out there in a few spots this morning. As we head to midday, we see again a few areas of drizzle or light rain showing up, but we're already seeing some transitioning taking place to snow out across the far northwestern sections of the viewing area. We'll see that transition to snow taking place by 2.30 in the afternoon. See how we see some rain still across some of our southeastern counties, but a huge part of the valley has that transition over to snow, and by later this evening, 5 o'clock, it's snow for everybody. So again, anything you've got to do, get it done really early today because by this evening we're all going to be dealing with snow falling. It all ends overnight. Then on Friday, no more additional snow, but blowing snow and bitter cold temperatures. Snowfall amounts, again, we're still thinking that three to five inch range. I think there'll be some common four inch amounts out there. This is going to be a snow that, again, does impact us. But what comes after it is the reason that why this warning extends through the day and into tomorrow. Here's a big part of it winds. This is as we get into this evening, we start to see winds change out of the northwest with gusts to 35 miles per hour. As we get into tomorrow morning, those wind gusts could exceed 40 miles per hour. And by Friday evening, still those winds a factor in not only blowing snow, but in how it feels right on through the start of Christmas Eve. Temperatures this morning are above freezing. I'm going to slow this down for you as we go through. The this afternoon, 2 o'clock, check out temperatures out there. Again, starting to see the transition to the colder air. By 6 o'clock, we've got single digits in Champaign. We've got mid-20s in Terre Haute. And as we go through the night tonight, we drop all the way to 4 degrees in the Terre Haute area. So we started out above freezing. And by later tonight, we sit at 4 degrees. And by tomorrow morning, everyone sits below zero. Tomorrow during the afternoon, we only warm to around four or five degrees, and it's still cold to start Christmas Eve in the single digits. That's the actual temperature. Here's how it's going to feel. As we get into the afternoon hours and the transition takes place, it's going to start to feel like the single digits out to the west of us. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, wind chills running 25 to 30 below zero. That's dangerous, folks. And the same thing as we get into the start of Christmas Eve, we've got wind chills running in the teens. So we've got some very cold air, but we've also got to deal with the wind, and it will be a factor for us. So as we talk about your holiday forecast, here's what you need to know. Temperatures only top out around 10 Christmas Eve, 15 Christmas Day. We'll be back in the 20s as we get into Monday for those who will be traveling back home. Today, rain changes to snow as temperatures fall quickly throughout the afternoon and overnight we fall below zero to start the day tomorrow. Any snow comes early, but wind will be a factor throughout the night right on into the day tomorrow. And as you can see, the changes come next week. So we got a cold, dry weekend for your holiday plans. Maybe a few flurries Monday. No big deal, though. Look at Wednesday. We're back to 41 degrees above normal as we wrap up December. So this is a cold blast. But it will get right on out of here next week. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're on a steady incline after. It's going to get through tomorrow. We are. Tomorrow's just going to be the roughest day. All right. Okay. We'll check in with you again just a little bit, Thanks. Julie. Thank you so much.